What's up, Libra? This is Soul here. And Libra, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning uh, December 31st, 2018 and ending January 13, 2019. Yes, 2019. So with that being said, Libra, I hope all is well and I hope everyone's had a, a very relaxing, enjoyable uh, Christmas. And I want to thank all those um People who have uh, sent, you know, pleasant comments to me, wishing me a, a Merry Christmas along, you know, with my family. And it was a very nice Christmas. Thank you so much. I always appreciate those uh, positive comments. Anyway, so. Happy New Year 2019. I hope that the new year brings in. Um, good vibes for you. I hope that it's uh, happy, healthy, and uh, very prosperous as well. Okay, so in spite of, you know, saying all of that, I, you know, it's sort of like, like I said before, the, the new energy for me in 2019 is just to go ahead and read the energies that come through and not try to debate, um, you know, should I or shouldn't I? No, it's just whatever comes through is what I'm going to read. This is a new deck that I'm using, and it is the... Uh, Marchetti Tarot. Okay, it's been personalized for me. Uh, I have my own carrying bag with my name on it, and also a signature card from Ciro with my name on it with the uh, Cancer um, symbol crab. All right, so as you know, Libra, I always say that I like to receive the elements of the sign that I'm reading for. And, and it's just so happened that it, you, those elements come through for you. But what I didn't want to see is what is your overall energy uh, for the two week period of time. Um, there was no way of getting around this and there was no way of even trying to um, make it appear that, you know, How should I say? I don't. OK, so I'm not going to try to clean up the reading. All right. So I'm just I, I'm disappointed myself. Um, but, it, you know, it is what it is. OK, so I'm just going to do whatever I feel that someone needs to hear, because it's, it's you know, these are general readings and it may not apply to. You or, you know, everyone is not going to apply to anyone. And anything that I say is not written in stone. But this dreaded three of swords, which is you're the first sign that has received the three of swords. I think it was two other signs that have received the tower. OK, so the swords are representing your energy. So I don't know what's going on um, with some Libras. This is not the card that I was even looking forward to, especially being the opening uh, energy for you for the next two weeks. But this is a card of grief, separation, you know, all things related to the Three of Swords energy, you know, heartache, uh, painful separations, painful grief and whatever that is and how it applies to you. Uh, this is what's coming through. The Three of Swords in the upright is, is definitely breakups when it comes to relationships. Uh, oftentimes, I pick up the energies of separations. Um, the People may still be together, but there's distance between you. So that means that somebody could be in another state. Somebody could be in another town, country. Um, and then there's a relationship. Now, that could be a platonic relationship. That could be a romantic relationship. It also could relate to a separation of a family member. So keep that in mind. This is also a card of divorces when it shows up. And I wanted to make sure, okay. So the justice card is not here, so it's not like a final divorce. So this could be pending divorces. But whatever this three of swords energy means for you, Libra, during this two week period of time, that's what's coming up now. I do feel it's you know something to do with relationships because the King of Cups is following the Three of Swords. So King representing uh, male, uh, female energies as well. But I always get an older feel with these energies. It could be a father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, and because it follows the Three of Swords. Now, am I getting something in terms of a separation of a parent? That may be the case. 
Um, but because the king of uh, cups is in the upright, it could be a separate uh, message uh, indicating if there is a separation of uh, energies and it's related to a romantic relationship. Just so you know, you have uh, the king of cups here, which is all about relationships. And then what follows is your energy, the king of swords. They're both in the upright position. The queen, however, isn't that interesting? All court people here on the top row. The queen of pentacles is in the reverse. So I feel that there's something going on here with Libra. And it may be related to, uh, it's definitely related to re some type of relationship. So however that is, I mean, I, I'm not going to spend all day trying to depict what type of relationship that is. You know what it is. You watch these videos. Take the information uh, that is beneficial for you. If it doesn't apply, don't try to make it stick. All right. So I do feel there's a separation coming in um, for some Libras. But there is a moment of happiness with the King of Cups showing up. This is you being decisive with the King of uh, Swords. Okay, being this, not only decisive, but taking action. There is nothing confusing you or clouding your judgment. If the king of uh, swords was in the reverse, then there would be something that I would, you know, say completely different. However, this king, uh, queen of pentacles plays in. This is not a, a two week period of time. Um, of taking chances or unnecessary risk with your finances. This is your boss at work. The queen and or the king, when it shows up in the upright position, is all about generosity, favors being granted. When they show up in the reverse, it's, it's about those things not being favorable or being generous or granted. Okay? Do not take any unnecessary risk with your money because you will suffer a loss. OK. This three of swords here could represent someone uh, separating from a job or retirement or um, a change of career. Jumping around the ten of wands here is right underneath that three of wands. So there's some sort of battles or struggles. Uh, I don't always get that with the ten of wands, but because it's linked right underneath the three of swords, it could be that someone that I'm reading for has been dealing with some sort of ongoing shit with a true fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. Okay? Otherwise, it's like you're battled weary. And this may be the Three of Swords energy where the conflict comes in. However, the Ten of Wands representing Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female is a 10. So it's a completion of energy. Or will be a completion of energy. I almost hate that this three of swords has shown up here because otherwise this would have been like a you know a really perfect perfect reading in terms of energies because you have the king of cups you have the king of swords representing your energy and even though the queen of pentacles is in the reverse you still have the page of wands in the upright position and that's all about news and that's all about surprises underneath another court card so if there is some sort of painful, this three of swords could represent the past and having to overcome a separation of a relationship, whatever that relationship is for you moving forward. Then they're saying with all these court cards here, regardless of the queen of pentacles being in the reverse, you have the page of wands. You have the king of cups and then you also have your energy, the king of swords, new relationships being formed. That could be romantic. That could be a platonic um, friendship. That could be almost anything. 
News coming in very quickly and very fast. I have to apologize to Cancer when I read for them that this card here, which is your very last card, is the actual Eight of Wands. So now you have the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. And I read for them it was the Seven of Wands. So I have to add a little footnote to their video to say something completely different. Um, but I don't think I said anything really negative. Um, but I just happened to catch that. And oftentimes I'll make a mistake because these cards are new and because these particular cards are so deep and rich in color, you know, I miss certain things, the, the numerics. All right. So you have the eight of wands Libra as your final card here, but it also mirrors the page of wands. So news, communication, things happening or moving very fast for you. Now, I don't know the uh, what type of relationship um, could be taking place with the Eight of Wands underneath the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe somebody, okay, since it's, you know the Pentacles represent work and finance, maybe somebody quickly leaves or separates from a job. If I was going to go deeper into the reading, the separation could be a layoff since the Queen of Pentacles is in the uh, reverse position. Someone getting laid off from work or um, this could be a, a form of some type of downsizing. Someone could quit their line of work. Someone could, you know, quit their line of work. Also be laid off. But then the news that comes in that there will be another job, there will be another relationship, and you're determined. There's a lot of determination with the King of Swords is representing your energy. The final card is what's in the middle of the uh, Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands is, again, you know, it mirrors the Ten of Wands. So I don't know if this is friction with someone and it's a true fire sign. Now, this could be, it's not just romantic. It could be, you know, romantic. It could be in the family. It could be a friend. But just like the Ten, the energy is a completion. And so will the Five be a completion? And because there's two energies here and they're mir mirroring each other, uh, it's energy, I feel that even though I'm reading for you, Libra, is energy that may be coming towards you from other energies. So if that is the case, um, do not feed into it because the energy is going to be short lived. Someone who wants to pick a fight, pick an argument or, you know, quarrel about something. See, five of wands underneath your energy. And because this uh, king of swords is in the upright position, you stand in strong in your position. And, you know, you, the, the taking action may be the action of not doing anything to feed into their energy. OK, because your focus might be somewhere else. So in the mix of, you know, the three of swords and, you know, um, Yeah, this is still, I still feel that it's a, a pretty good reading, okay? But some of you may not see it like that, but I do feel that it is. I just felt that there was somebody who needed to, there's a message for somebody that's pertaining to that three of swords. And of course, it's the three. It could be a relationship, a love triangle, and it's causing some sort of pain or conflict of energies for you. But however that three of swords plays out in the next two week period of time, I would only know through the comments that come through. All right. Other than that, uh, that is your reading, Libra. And um, decided not to use the Rebel decks uh, for the biweeklies anymore. Just going to use them for the uh, general love readings. But I am using still the uh, Magical Times Empowerment uh, deck. And the card that I selected for you is, <laughs> look at that there, <laughs> Happiness. So it says here, immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. All right. So that's your reading. And then, you know, whenever the tower or the three of swords, there's no way I could spin them, you know, spin it around to change it to um, 
fluff the reading up or make it better. You know, it is what it is. And somebody will be impacted by that three of swords. And if these messages are, you know, resonating with you, then I would like to know. Uh, as I said in previous videos, I do not set these cards up to be uh, messing with people's um you know, lives or anything like that. No, I'm here to offer guidance. And this could be, um, you know, we're, we're all in control of our own lives is you can't make, a, you know, me or another reader responsible for the energies that are going on in your life. And the people who, um, you know, write in to say that, you know, my, my readings are negative. Well, no, they're not. I mean, it's like, <laughs> well, you can say that they are and it might come off as being negative, but I'm not going to flush, you know, fluff these readings up for anybody. The only thing that I'm going to say is that if you feel that way, then, you know, I'm not for you as a reader or, you know, neither is my channel. Um, cause like I said, moving into 2019, I'm just going to read what I see as if I didn't do that in 2018. But like I said, I'm going to stay true to my conviction of whatever comes out. See, Behind the camera, you don't know what's going on in terms. I do shuffle these cards and I concentrate on the sign that I'm reading for. And then I'm not going to, if the three of swords shows up or the tower shows up, I'm not going to just stick it back in the deck and just use another card. I'm cheating myself and my spirits out of this energy. And then also cheating you because this message or the, these messages that come forth is for someone to hear. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it clean. And keep these readings um, straight and to the point. All right, Libra. Happy New Year once again. Please be safe. Always emphasizing safety. Um, sending out good vibes to you guys for 2019. And also love and light. Until I talk to you again. Libra, be well. Bye.